What is up YouTube, it's Gun170 here, and today I got five tournament packs number five. Uh, each pack contains only three cards, sadly, but it says that we can get 20 of these cards in each of these sets. So in total there's only just 20, and I can only get 15. And with that, let's get started. Pretty good, we have Trap of the Board Eraser. When an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated except during damage, negate the damage to your, to your life points. Your opponent then selects one card from his or her hand and discards it to his or her graveyard. Berserking the Swamp King. Er, yeah, Berserker the Swamps. Tornado Bird. Uh, flip effect. Return two spell or trap cards from the field to the hand of the owner. So I don't really know what's in these sets. I should have researched before I started this video. But I just figured, why not go with the surprise? Curse of the Royal. Verzago the Destroyer. You can substitute this card for any fusion material monster. When you do this, the other fusion material monsters must be the correct ones. So this is actually not that bad. Joingen the Spiritualist. The Spiritualist. Packs are kind of actually just a little harder to open than regular ones. Trap of the Board Eraser. Winged Sage Falcon. Mystical Sheep. One. And this one has the same effect. You can substitute it as a fusion material card. Mystical Sheep, Destruction Punch, it's actually kind of funny, we see this every day now. Uh, when the attack of an attacking monster on your opponent's side of the field is lower than the defense of the attacked defense position monster on your side of the field, destroy the attacking monster, damage calculation is applied normally. Goddess of the Third Eye. And for our last pack, can we get another rare? Since these apparently just come at random. Jogin, the Spiritualist. Verzago, the Destroyer. And Cursed Royal. Darn. Nothing too cool in these packs. But, it's always nice to go through some tournament packs. And on another note, we have our second piece of Exodia. We have the right leg this time. And at first I was super scared because I thought that I already had the right leg and that we just got another right leg on this collection. But in fact, I was wrong. And yes, beautiful. I keep them in the top loaders because I want to get these graded and have one set for myself and one set that's just graded. And on that we actually have another mystery power box since I felt like this video would be a little too short and would lack a little bit of excitement. Now, 
originally I wasn't going to open this because I did want to keep one of these boxes, but I figured I could still buy these. Now we have the legendary collection of the Ori Calcos. Another Blue Eyes White Dragon. Destiny Soldier. Invasion. And the Dark Illusion and Raging Tempest. Wow, we got pretty much the same pack from the first time except for these two. So I think we'll open the seal first. Goddess of Whim. Uh, Ordeal of the Traveler. Mystical Box. Sage Stone. All right. I actually did want to get this from this pack. It's rare. I think the first edition one comes in as secret rare. So that's pretty nice. Royal Decree. Everybody loves this card. Just like a, a Jinzo, pretty much. A secret rare exchange. Oh, and I love the, the print on this. It's just awesome. Let's see. We got an Exodia, Regeki. And then a Dark Magician. Pot of Greed, a Mirror Force, and a Time Wizard. That's pretty sick. White Horn Dragon. You would not believe how long I've been trying to get this card in in the card form and on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The Creator, Magical Hats, and our Goddess. Dark Illusionist. DD Servant. Dark Magic Expanding. Red Gardener. Aerobatic Magician. Dark Magician Circle. Ooh, Secret Rare too. First Edition. This card was really sought after. Uh, a few months ago, and I'm pretty sure it's still pretty popular. Scapegoat, uh, Dragides, the Empowered Warrior, Bot Eyes Lizard. Let's go with in Raging Tempest. Not too bad, already started off with a fusion. Ancient Gear, Howitz, Flower, Carden, Cherry Blossom, uh, Zodiac Sign, a rare Substitutor, Nemesis Defender, a secret rare Sea Monster of Vetus, and it just only requires two tuners. But it's a tuner fusion, a tuner fusion, which is actually pretty cool. First edition, secret rare, tuner fusion. Pretty weird. Cypher and Tiger. Uh, Terminal World next. Zadok Ram Ram. Uh, Perush, Perusha Doll. And our ancient gear. Invasion or invasion engines. Crystal Impact Flower A Cell Dragon Core Hexer. Tuner, which is actually the highest level tuner I've ever seen. Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon. I actually tried to buy this off a of seller one time, but uh, it turns out I was hexed out of my money, I guess you could say. He scammed me, sadly. 
tears falling out of my eyes. But it requires three level five monsters. If this card is, if this card has dark X or dark rebellion Xyz dragon as a Xyz material, it gains these effects. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz from this card, then target one faced up monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero, and if you do, this card gains attack equal to the original attack. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a monster's effect, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, you can special summon one Xyz monster from the graveyard. Pretty nice. We're getting a lot of secret rares in this, and I'm loving that. Slime Jr. Kriston, uh, Pelazor, Metal, uh, Psy Frame Accelerator, and Kriston Impact. Dark Lord, and I think. Yeah, I think all these are rares. Er, yeah. Abyss Actor Black Stage. Abyss Script Fantasy Magic. Destiny Hero Malicious. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Destiny Hero Malicious from your deck. Okay. Dark Lord Amdusk. A fairy. You wouldn't really think a Dark Lord would be a fairy, but Yu-Gi-Oh! You can discard this card and one Dark Lord card, then target one Dark Lord in your graveyard. Add it to your hand during either player's turn. You can pay a thousand life points and target one Dark Lord spell slash trap in your graveyard. Apply the target's effect, then shuffle that target into your deck. You can only use effect of Dark Amdis. Once per turn, you can special summon one Dark Amdis once per turn. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now, for the pack that we've all been waiting for, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can we get a Dark Magician, a Blue Eyes, or a Red Eyes Black Dragon? Let us pray to the Yu-Gi-Oh Gods. Enchanting Mermaid, Dis Dissolving Rock, Sparks, Flame Manipulator, Grave Digger Grawl. I've actually never seen this card. Select up to two monster cards in your opponent's graveyard. Remove the selected cards from play. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman. Oh, that'd be so cool if there was a Flaming Swordsman in here. Maneater. Hinotama. Two Mouth Dark Ruler. Oh, the pain. At least I did get the two components to summon the Flame Swordsman. And I believe I have the original Flame Swordsman in first edition. Which is actually super nice for me. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And as always, we will be having more content showing up throughout the month and months to come. For a quick recap on what we got, we have the Sage Stone. If you control one faced up Dark Magician Girl, special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or your deck. Uh, Grave Digger Growl, we just went over this. Dark Lord Emdis, Dark Requiem, Xyz Dragon, Dragon Core Hexer, Sea Monster of Theus, The Fusion Tuner, First Edition, Dark Magician Circle, and for those of you guys who don't know, let's just read this off. This card. When this card is activated, look over the look at the top three cards of your deck, then reveal one Dark Magician or spell slash trap that specifically lists Dark Magician among them, and add it to your hand. Also place the remaining cards on top of your deck 
in any order if Dark Magician is normal or special summoned to your field except during the damage step. You can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You can only use this effect of Dark Magic Circle once per turn. And keep in mind guys, this is a continuous spell, so you can use this effect for the duration of its time on the field. White Horn Dragon. When this card is normal or special summon, target up to five spell cards in your opponent's graveyard. Banish those targets. And if you do, this card gains 300 attack for each banished card. So keep in mind that's 1,500 extra boost. 3,700 could take down a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Exchange, I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. You exchange one card. Royal Decree, negate all other trap effects on the field. Pretty much just a Jinzo and Sage Stone. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy this video. And once again, we will show off Exodia's legs because why not? They are the pinnacle of man and superiority. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and as always, please enjoy and like and subscribe. Thank you.